Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me today. We are out on the Cumberland River just, you know, plinking around, doing a little bit of fish and seeing what we can't get on. We are starting out with our, actually, well, the only bait we are going to fish today is the Crappie Max 3-inch Grub by Bass Pro Shops. So it's a nice looking grub. We have that color is, it's the spring grub and it is monkey milk. I thought that was kind of funny. Cool name there, cool name. Might have had uh, something to do with me buying them, but we'll see what we can't get on today. I'm hoping to get some, maybe some spotted bass, probably some whites and yellows, who knows? It's always a, always a gamble to see what's biting on the river. So anyhow, hope y'all enjoy the video. Let's get the fish and let's get some fish on. I'll show you exactly what we're throwing it on. Uh, at the end of the video, we are doing some BFS stuff. So some finesse gear. All right, guys, wish me luck. All right, so good looking grub. We're gonna kind of just skirt skirt the bank a little bit. Kind of plink around here. Oh, I think we already got a bite. It's a very sensitive rod, which is nice for me. River is crazy calm. It's about 55 degrees out and a bit overcast a little bit of sun poking through it was supposed to rain but it didn't end up raining so that's nice got one. Ooh, nice fish come on in big beautiful river spot Watch a little, little high up there. All right. Oh. Good looking spot, guys. Nice little, little tiny one. We'll show y'all in the big camp since you're our first fish this morning. All right, my friends, just a beautiful little uh, juvenile red eye spotted bass. Look at that fish. Good looking. Pretty healthy looking. We're gonna get uh, get her back in the water. We're gonna keep at it, see what else we can't get on. This is a good sign though. I did see a couple of them busting. I wasn't sure if it was them or some yellows, maybe some whites. So we'll, we'll get her back in and we'll keep at it and see what else we can't get on with our grub. It's doing some work right now. Caught one. Nice fish. Maybe a yellow. Oh, yeah. That is a nice yellow, my friends. Wow. Look at the colors on that one. Beautiful yellow bass, guys. Nice chunky one. I love how beautiful these fish are. They are some of the most gorgeous fish. They're a member of the uh, temperate bass family. So pretty much like your, uh, your whites or your stripers. A lot of fun to catch, a real good fight. Especially on this light tackle. We're running a, we're running six pound right now and a medium light rod. Got one, nice one. Come on in. All right, guys, skipjack. Whoa, 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 buddy. Nice little skip right there. Wow. Let me put this rod down. Oh. Beautiful colors on this one. They will eat anything resembling a bait fish whatsoever. Keep going at it. So far, so good. I'm pretty impressed with this bait so far. It's very durable. Haven't had it torn up much. I like the action. I like that the tail's almost a little bit shorter. That's kind of cool. It gives it a little, 
a little kind of crazy action to it. We're just popping and, and dragging, slow crawling right now. Fish. Skip. Looks like. Can you, yeah. Oof. Nice skipjack heron right there. What's up, good looking? Thanks for keeping that bike going, keeping things exciting, my friend. I'll tell you what, guys, it is so peaceful out here in the mornings. I love spending a couple hours out on the river before I start my day. Nothing quite like it. It's just fresh air, it's really pretty. Sounds of construction. <laughs> From a road over there, it's loud, man. All right, guys, so we found this lovely little pocket. I walked down river a bit. It's nice and sheltered by these trees. I would put money on. There are some fish in here and it is a beautiful, uh, sight to see too. It's real nice scenery, a real cool place to fish. Nice and cool, protected from the sun a bit. Oh yeah, there's a ton of bait in the water here. We're gonna catch some decent fish. Oh, all right, skipjack. Hit us like a ton of bricks. This is a nice one too. A lot of a uh, lot of skipjack today. Kind of bear clawing and get him back in there. I thought I might be around here chasing all that little bait I saw, and we're blending right in with our grub. Oh, what's that? Little ring right there. Got one. Oh gosh, the fighter. White. Flip flip a roof. Nice white bass. Well, a chubby one. Another nice skipjack. All right, these skipjack are really running today. These guys can be a pain in the butt to unhook sometimes. There we go. Where they wriggle like crazy. They're aggressive too. That was a carp for sure. Only things that big in this river are carps and stripers. I don't think it's a striper. Hey, what's up, my friends? I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I had a great time making it as always. I'm gonna kinda do some adjustments right quick. All right, <clears throat> so. I actually shot this video about mm, two days ago, I think Friday morning. Uh, unfortunately, my son got sick. I think he had the flu, I'm not 100% sure. Got pretty sick Friday night, had a bad fever, scared the crap out of me. I mean, he's three, so fevers just freak me out. You know, I'm always on the edge of going to the ER, taking a temperature every hour, you know. Uh, 
doing doing the best I can to keep it down. But it ended up being all a okay. I mean, he's much better today. It's been like two days and just ate a giant rotisserie chicken together. So things are looking up, guys. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't get sick now. That very well may happen. Uh, starting to have kind of a dry throat, so I certainly hope not. Anyhow, I uh, started out the day at the old marina. Couldn't catch anything. I think I was there for about an hour. Uh, ended up saying if I'm going to take the L, I'm going to take it uh, with a good view. So I went down to the river and ended up lucking out. And caught that really nice spot of bass. They're going to start uh, coming through a lot more as it continues to warm up. They are just so beautiful and they are... Um, in, in a healthy amount in my area. God, I couldn't even think of the word to say that. They're, they're plentiful um, on the Cumberland and my uh, stretch of it in general. So anyhow, uh, we were throwing the Bass Pro Shops Crappie Max. I'm imagining that's like this the series, um, the Spring Grub. And this is a three inch in that monkey milk color that I love so much because got it done it's like a translucent blue flake almost and um, it's a good type of translucent I've had those translucent baits that you literally can't even see and um, I try to avoid that so I'm always like really cautious when I order them online and they're translucent I'm like is it gonna be a translucent that show like this that shows up really good in the water and just looks amazing or is it gonna be that translucent I can't even see and I don't think the fish can either but it's a good one, and uh, I like uh, I like the make of the grub. Um, it's got those little ridges on it. It's extremely durable. Um, I didn't have a single one break on me. Uh, I lost a couple due to operator error and snagging them. A little bottom bounce of them, but yeah, the, the fish I was the species we were catching in general hang on to those baits and tear up uh, overly soft and non-durable baits. So this passed the durability test, the skipjack test for sure. I like how the tail is um, a little shorter, and it's not like uh, in a negative way. It, it put on a real cool action. I liked it a lot. Uh, normally, a grub that size, I think the tail would be longer, the body would be shorter. Um, I was using a one eighth ounce ball head jig with a sickle type hook. Now, my buddy Kyle ended up making me a bunch of these, so I'm super thankful for that. It made my life a lot easier, um, and that fit the bait very, very well. Uh, the other thing about these Bass Pro ones, uh, sometimes I don't buy like certain baits from uh, Bass Pro's brand, Academy, you know, bigger uh, companies like that. You know, I'm almost gonna say like generic, but it's not really generic. It's more of like a value type um, brand. I've had a hard, uh, bad experiences with hard baits. However, I've never had a bad experience with Bass Pro Shop uh, soft plastic. Not yet, at least. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll order some more. I actually have some tubes I ordered from them, and I couldn't help but get them because they look so good to me. But, yeah, I think this is a great value, too. It's an 18-pack. 18-pack uh, of 3-inch grubs for, like, 3 bucks. That's a steal, man. Uh, Rod-wise, it's thrown on the Daiwa Black Label. That is a... A 610 limber graphite, uh, which has more of a bend to it, more of a flex, and that is a fast action, a medium light rod. If you are curious about the rod, I'm a big fan of it. It's really, really cool and really unique. I do have a episode out. Um, I believe the title is uh, the name of the rod, anyhow. <laughs> but it's a it's a fantastic rod. I, I talk a lot more about it. Uh, reel is a 8.5 Daiwa Silver Creek Stream Custom, Mountain Stream Custom, I believe it's called. It is a really, really neat reel as well. It's one of the BFS reels, and it's got that drag clicker on there. Absolutely crazy about this setup. I think it's one of the best looking setups I've ever owned, to be honest. Anyhow, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Had a great time making it. Hope you guys get some good fish on. Hope I don't get sick. <laughs> um, and I will see y'all shortly. Um, actually, I'm going to try to do some fishing tomorrow. It's just going to be rainy, but, you know, we might... Uh, I think there's a five-hour gap in the rain, and that might be just what I need to catch some monster bass or whatever else is willing to take my bait. Anyhow, take care, guys. Uh, get some good fish on. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. It's starting to rain right now. I'll catch y'all later.